Hello friends, let us continue with the idioms. The first idiom is an armchair job. Let us break this idiom into two. First an armchair, which is this. Uh, what feeling do you get seeing this armchair? That it is very comfortable and a job. So what type of job do we desire? Something that pays you very well. So this armchair job means a good income job with high comfort or a regular job which is considered easy and well paid. For example, teaching a nursery kid is an armchair job for a graduate or the parents always dream of an armchair job for their children. At a pinch. At a pinch is basically relating to this emergency sign. It is something that is really necessary but it will be difficult, not perfect or not what you would really like. It is something of an emergency situation or in trouble. So an urgent, necessary and a difficult situation with no other solution or choice available. Let us relate this idiom with the help of sentence. Her car can take four people comfortably but five at a pinch. Or I need 2000 to set up the business but I suppose 1500 would do at a pinch. So this means that even though he requires $2,000 to start his business but because of a financial trouble he will be managing or he will just be able to manage with $1,500. Bad blood. This idiom is basically used in a negation sense. Bad blood means enmity which is unfriendliness or bitter relations. We can relate this idiom by saying that we have a lot of fight within our brothers and sisters. So even though we have the same blood but we have bad relations. So bad blood means unpleasant feelings between people or feelings of hate between people because of arguments in the past. Like the two brothers here are quarreling over something. So it means bitter relations among them. For example, there's been bad blood between India and Pakistan since partition. Or police say the attack may have been the result of bad blood between the two families. A bed of roses. How would you feel if you get a bed which is decorated with roses? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is how beautiful and comfortable it would be. So bed of roses means a pleasant situation of comfort, a luxurious position or an easy and comfortable situation. So try relating this idiom with the bed have, be, having full of rose flowers so it means something which is very comfortable or a luxurious position. For example, marriage is not a bed of roses that everyone tells you it is. It is stressful and takes a lot of work. It means it is not comfortable or easy to manage a, mari a marriage. You need a lot of work to be able to live in that relation or she found that taking care of old parents was not a bed of roses that is it was not easy task for her. Bakshi We have all heard the poem Baba Black Sheep right so there is a story behind this idiom Black Sheep it is based on this idea that the black sheep were less valuable than the white ones. 
because it was difficult to dye their wool with different colors. So the word black has a historically strong negative connotation, one color that is always unwanted in the society. So black sheep is basically a person who is regarded as a disgrace for his family. Like this black sheep here is regarded as less valuable than the others because its wool is black in color. So a black sheep means someone who is thought to be a bad person by the rest of their family. For example, John is the black sheep of the family. He is currently serving five years in jail for stealing a car. So it means he is considered a bad person by his family members. A bosom friend. A bosom friend means your best friend or the closest friend. A friend who holds dear to one's heart. It is self-explanatory. Bosom means something that is beautiful. So a bosom friend means a fast friend or a close friend who is very close to your heart. For example, we grew up right next door to each other. So we have been bosom friends since we were kids. That is, they are childhood friends. The two ladies who were arrested in the case of injuring each other for one man were bosom friends for years. Burning the midnight oil. Haven't we all had situations one night before the exam studying all the night just to get good grades. So burning the midnight oil means laboring or studying till late night. For example, I am burning the midnight oil to try and finish my assignment for tomorrow. Or if you burn the midnight oil, you will probably become ill. That is overworking would make you ill. So she has been burning the midnight oil lately. I guess she has a big exam coming up. This is often the case for us students. Let's move on. Cat and dog fight. Haven't we all heard this phrase from our parents or grandparents? This is the most common idiom related to a married life. That is, it is something of having arguments, fights and disagreements in a married life. So someone who is unhappy with his married life, we use the phrase or the idiom cat and dog life. For example, after 10 years together, the couple have started having a cat and dog life. That means they are having a lot of arguments and a lot of differences among them. All these four years, I had been living a cat and dog life with my wife. So it is self-explanatory now that a cat and dog life means a lot of arguments and unhappy married life. Cutting a sorry figure. Do you see the disappointment on this Indian cricketer Gautam Gambhir? So cutting a sorry figure means to make a poor impression or to give a poor show. Say that after getting out to a rash shot, Gautam Gambhir cut a sorry figure. So cutting a sorry figure is to get bad results or to make a poor impression. For example, she cut a sorry figure in her maiden speech as she was nervous for her speech. It means that she was nervous because it was her maiden speech and so after the speech she was she made others disappointed as she could not deliver the speech properly. Let's move on. Dog in the manger. Do we know what a manger is? Manger is basically a trough for animals. 
there is a story behind this idiom as well. Once upon a time, there was a dog lying in the manger who did not eat grass. We all know that dogs do not eat grass. But nevertheless, this dog prevented other animals, say a cow and another animal shown here in this figure from being able to eat this grass either. So, a dog in the manger means a person who prevents others from doing what he cannot. That is a person who is selfishly keeping something that he or she does not really need. Like the dog here does not need the grass but still he does not want others to use or enjoy it. For example, Stop being such a dog in the manger and let your sister ride your bike if you are not using it. Why be a dog in the manger? If you aren't going to use those tickets, let someone else have them. So, it is basically a, an idiom that relates to a person who is so selfish that even though he does not want a thing, still he does not want others to use it. Stay tuned and keep watching.